Okay, this, uh, I, have, I have told you before about how, how uh, in, after the election of Barack Obama, uh, the right was shocked and the hard right, the, the, the real conser the so-called conservatives decided we need to take over the Republican Party, right? Uh, no more, no more uh, Mitt Romney's. No more, you know, all of the, Well, it wasn't, it wasn't Romney in 2008. It was uh, John McCain. But no, you know, no more um, uh, friendly Republicans. We're going to go all in on the so-called conservatives. And these videos started being pushed out all over the country to activists, to, to Tea Party members. And this is how the Tea Party took over the GOP. And frankly, it's how progressives can and should take over the Democratic Party. So uh, I'm, uh, th this is uh, over on YouTube. It's titled, Why Precinct Committee Men Are the Most Powerful Political Office in the World. It's from a, a YouTube channel called Concord Project. I want to fully acknowledge them. They did a great job with this. They are absolutely correct in everything they're saying. And, uh, you know, here's the spokesperson. I'm sorry I don't have his name right off the top, but uh, here he is telling you how, and again, keep in mind, he's speaking to Republican conservative, conservative activists who want to take over the Republican Party back in the day. What is the most powerful political office in the world? It is not the President of the United States. It's the precinct committeeman. Why is that? There's three main reasons. First, because precinct committeemen and only precinct committeemen get to elect the leaders of the two major political parties. If you want to elect the leadership of one of the two major political parties in this country, you have to join that party, become registered in it, and become a precinct committeeman. <clears throat> Second, precinct committeemen and only precinct committeemen can vote in the internal elections to endorse candidates in the all-important, traditionally very low turnout primary elections. If a candidate wants to win the general election, he first has to get onto the general election ballot. To get on the general election ballot, he has to win the primary election. And the best way to win the primary election is to get the endorsement of as many party committees as possible. Precinct committeemen are organized into committees. For example, every county has a party committee. Every state legislative district has a committee. Legislative districts elect the people's representatives to the state legislature. Third, in some states, when a vacancy occurs in, the state in, in a state legislator's office, Let's say someone uh, leaves to run for another office, or an incumbent passes away, or resigns. The precinct committeemen, and only the precinct committeemen, get to nominate the nominees to fill that vacancy. For example, here in Arizona, where I live, when there's a vacancy, the precinct committeemen from that legislative district, and only the precinct committeemen, not the registered voters, just the precinct committeemen, get to select nominees to fill that vacancy. And then those nominees, there's three of them, are, are um, presented to the board of county board of supervisors, who by statute then select one of the three. Well, think about it. If conservatives have a majority of the precinct committeeman slots in that legislative district, they'll, they'll nominate three conservatives. And then, no matter who the Board of Supervisors selects, they will have replaced the prior legislator with a conservative. Now that is real political power. Amen. Oh, that is real political power. And, you know, it's, and, and how do you do that? You call your, in, in the Democratic Party? I mean, again, this is what happened in the Republican Party between 2009 and 2012. And it's how we ended up with a Republican Party that is controlled essentially by, by its far right. 
Well, frankly, I'd like to see the so-called far left because, you know, I, call, I refer to us as the radical middle. I mean, you know, if you do public opinion polling and, you know, ask people what do you want from your government, the well over 50 percent of all Americans, including Republicans, want everybody to have health insurance at a very, very low cost or no cost. They want everybody to be able to go to college at no cost. And, and by the way, every other developed country in the world does both of those things. They want people to be able to have access to a union so that they can have, you know, decent pay and benefits, so that they can negotiate, so that they can have literally democracy in the workplace, which is what a, what a union is. These are simple, straightforward things that are considered in the rest of the developed world normal. Conservatives support these things in the rest of the world. Remember when I did the show from Denmark and, and, and I had all these conservative legislators from the Danish parliament on and I was saying, well, you're, you're a conservative. You must want to do away with your national health care system. And they were like, what, are you crazy? So this is how you get inside the Democratic Party by contacting your local Democratic Party and saying, I'm really interested in becoming a precinct committee person. How do I do that? In some cases, it's even a paid gig. Sometimes it's hard to get in. Most often, you can just volunteer and you're there. And then you're helping run the show.